Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be testing Wuthering Waves on my Linux based PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. I have installed Bazite 42 NVIDIA Edition on this PC. After the release of Wuthering Waves update version 2.4, the game became compatible with SteamOS. To run the game on other Linux distros, just need to use G Proton version 10-7 or 10-8 as the compatibility layer. Also need to add one launch argument. Now this game comes with an older version of TLSS Subscaler that is version 3.7 on Linux. We can update the upscaler to the latest version that is version 310.3.0 activated transformer model of TLSS 4. I have already tested the game with the updated DLSS Subscaler. Game's ACE anti-cheat implementation didn't prevent the game from starting. I'll show you the complete process. Just download the latest version of TLSS Subscaler from Tech Power Up's website. At the time of recording this video, it's version 310.3.0. Click on download here. Click on any of these servers, download will start. On Windows platform, we can simply use NVIDIA app to overwrite the game Subscaler to the latest version. Just need to set the render preset to K in order to activate the transformer model of TLSS 4. In order to verify these details, I'll be using TLSS debug overlay. To enable this overlay, I'll just run the registry code provided by Amos. Copy these lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. I'll just create it on the desktop text file. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change its extension from .txt to .reg. Click on OK. Select the file, right click, open with. I'll use Kwrite. You can use any text editor. Paste the lines here. Click on File, Save, Close. Now we just need to run this registry file. This will enable the DLSS debug overlay. I'll create another registry file to disable the DLSS debug overlay. Create a new text file. I'll just name it as Overlay Off. You can name it anything you want. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. OK. Select the file, right click, open with text editor. Paste the same lines here. Just replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on save, close. If you want to disable the DLSS debug overlay, just run this registry file. First, I'll enable it. Execute overlay.reg file using Proton Tricks. You can download this application for free from Discover Store. Run it. From this list, select Wuthering Waves. It's the Steam version of the game. Double click. This window will pop up after about 6 to 7 seconds. Select this option. Select the default Find Tricks. OK. Select this option. Run Regitate. OK. Click on Registry here. Click on Import Registry File. And just go to the Desktop. Open Z Drive, Home folder that has the same name as your PC's username. From here just open desktop folder. Select overlay.reg file. Open. OK. That's it. Now I'll manually update the game's DLSS upscaler. Open Dolphin File Explorer. Go to Downloads. Here you'll find the upscaler's archive file that you just downloaded. I have transferred it to another directory. It does not matter. Just open the archive file, extract this TLL file, nvngx underscore TLSS. There it is. Select it, right click, cut. Select Wuthering Waves in your Steam library, right click, manage, browse local files. This will open the game's install directory. Now just open engine folder, plugins folder, runtime folder, nvidia folder, dlss folder, binaries folder, third party folder, win64 folder. Replace the older version of TLSS Subscalar DLL file with the latest version. Paste one file. Alright, that's it. Now I'll show you the launch argument that we need to use. Select the game in your Steam library. Click on the settings cog here. Click on properties. Click on general. Under launch options, add this line of text. I'll give it in the description of the video. You can copy it from there and paste it here. SteamOS equal to 1 will make the game think that it's running on a PC with SteamOS. Mango Hut, I'll be using it to show you the performance metrics. Now this game supports both DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 modes. I want to enable ray tracing, that's why I'll be running the game in DirectX 12 mode. I've added the line dash TX12. 
using G Proton version 10-8 as the compatibility layer, very important. You can download it from Proton of Qt app. Quickly show you the process. Proton of Qt app is available on Discover Store. It's free. Launch it. Click on Add version here. Click on the drop down bar below Compatibility tool and select G Proton. Click on the drop down bar below Version and select G Proton version 10-8. Click on Install here. Wait for the process to complete. I have already installed it. Close. Just restart Steam so that G Proton version 10-8 shows up in the Compatibility section. We are ready to run the game. Play. It launched. Agreement. Agree. We are in. Yeah, this game prompt will pop up when you run the game for the first time. Close it. An update is getting downloaded. Wait for the process to complete. Patching complete. Restart the game. Shaders are getting compiled now. Wait for the process to complete. Sign to your Kuro Games account by entering your credentials. Graphic settings, resolution full HD, global filter, stick with the default one, apply. Frame rate set to 120, can't go higher than this. V sync off, special effects quality high, shadow quality ultra high, LOD bias high, maxed out wherever possible. Capsule AO, volumetric fog, volumetric lighting enable, anti lazing on as well. Motion blur and bloom disable, crowd density high. Rest of the effects enabled. NVIDIA DLSS on using its quality preset. Sharpening level default nil. Ray tracing disable for the time being. Current location city of Ginger. Playing as rover. I'll traverse the city on foot. Here we are getting close to 110 FPS. Game is running very smoothly. Check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Version of the upscaler 310.3.0. Render preset K. Yeah, this is the transformer model of DLSS 4. Worked. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD resolution. Even DLSS auto exposure setting is on. This setting helps in reducing ghosting around the objects in the environment. Also fixes the texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects. Use my glider. Check out the scale of this map. Beautiful. It's quite big. The game always exhibits some stuttering whenever we use a grappling hook or fly around in the environment in the Rina Siddha region. I just use my hook, keep an eye on the FPS counter. FPS drop down from 110 to 90. See? 86. Happens whenever I use my hook. Can't fly here. Flying ability gets unlocked in Rina Siddha region. Test the game in ZG village. Check out the grass plates. They are looking so sharp. Can't believe that the game is actually running at 720p resolution. DLSS 4 is just amazing. I am looking for some NPCs. Big open area here. Observing a few hitches. Okay, found some NPCs finally. Spam my abilities. This house. FPS mostly stays above 100. Not hitting the GP bottleneck here. GP load is close to 90%. Switched my character. Use the ultimate ability. The ability is almost ready. 100% charge. There you go. Okay, so now I'll run the game with ray tracing enabled. Test it as well. Open the in game settings, set ray tracing to on. Need to restart the game in order to apply the change. I'll just set it to medium. Before starting the game, I'll just disable the DLSS debug overlay. It's not required now. Just run Proton Tricks. Select Wuthering Waves, click on OK. Select this option, select the default Pine Pricks, OK. Select this option, run Registrate, OK. Click on Registry, click on Import, Navigate to the Desktop, select Overlay of .reg file, click on Open, OK, that's it. This disables TLSS debug overlay, ready to run the game. Resume the game from the same spot, this time the game is running with ray tracing enabled, check out the lighting quality. Beautiful art style, no doubt about it, yeah FPS dropped to around 60. 
decent performance my gpu is old now almost 6 years old i was not expecting 100 fps with ray tracing on yeah check out the reflection quality here puddle <laughs> and just exploring the area looking for some npcs it's going on here cooking <laughs> oh there are some bandits Sixty FPS even during combat, not bad. Use my character's special ability. Did not slow down the game. So good to see. Wuthering Waves finally working on Linux platform. Just make sure to run the game using either G Proton version 10.7 or 10.8 as the compatibility layer, and add the launch argument. If you have an RTX GPU, it's highly recommended to update TLSS subscaler to the latest version to use the Transformer model of TLSS, which considerably improves the image quality compared to TLSS 3 CNN model. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.